All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today, we are tagging with our new deck that will be on Daily Duels for the next upcoming month. We are using uh, the Pendulum Magicians. Yeah, so uh, you guys voted and you guys decided that Pendulum Magicians should be on Daily Duels as a tag deck. Uh, today, we are joined by Tiago. So this video might be a little bit more quieter for a tag deck because, of course, Tiago doesn't talk, which is totally fine. It's totally fine. Uh, I'm going to say right now, I, do, I am not proclaiming myself as the world's best, you know, uh, pendulum magician guy uh, so uh, hopefully I don't fuck this up too bad but uh, hopefully I do the deck justice uh, as you can see I'm actually deciding uh, doing a little bit of experimentation for right now I don't want to just copy and paste the deck that uh, is being played uh, uh, in the meta right now or anything like that I actually want to try to uh, at least do a little bit of experimentation so what I wanted to do is destruction magician uh, do a little more of uh, rank 7 plays if need be just because it seems like it'd be more fun that way He's 25 beater, so he's not terrible uh, And as long as we run like the upper scales like 8, he can be pendulum summoned as well So, you know, uh, this hand's pretty good, you know, I can play Dragon Pit, play Insight, Insight Go ahead and get me one of my lower scales Then pendulum summon my Yangqing, like Odd Eyes I can go into Absolute, I can go into Big Eye So, uh, you know, I got some plays right now, so it's not terrible so uh, hopefully, like I said, I, I'm really, I would be really mad if I fucked this deck up. Um, and one of the cards I'm actually playing uh, that's not being played in the Odd Eyes deck, of course in TCG, maybe not in SG, I don't know, I'm actually, I decided to go ahead and play that, uh, that Unicorn, because that Unicorn is actually another scale 8 uh, that has no restrictions. Of course, you could be playing your, um, your Time Gazer, but the problem with Time Gazer is that, you know, you can only activate it if you, know, you don't control any cards, and... Uh, if it, you don't have another magician, it goes to scale 4, and it's just like, there's too many restrictions. You know, the elephant, no restriction. And it's giving you another card to search for when uh, playing wizard, uh, or sorcerer. Because, of course, you know, I'm playing sorcerer to increase the consistency of getting my skull crowbat joker, who's a performer pal. But then, I also have another card to search for, i.e. being uh, the, the, the unicorn, the, the odd eyes unicorn. So I try to make these connections to try to, you know, I, like I said, I would never even consider myself a, a pro or, or even decent at the deck. But, you know, when I first try to do a couple of research on the cards, then I try to make some connections, see some upcoming plays, and hopefully I, I do the deck justice, because if I fuck up, you guys will have my head, and uh, you guys will just be like, what are you doing experimenting when you should have just, you know, done the deck like this, or like this, or like this. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and drop me in the comment section below. But for right now, let me just experiment, let me have fun with it. We got an entire month, and... You know, maybe more <laughs> if need be. So, Tiago uh, definitely going off, sending the graveyard, trading in, doing all these plays. The only problem is, is uh, that Soul Charge, Tiago can't attack. So, I'm hoping that maybe Tiago can do something to this massive field of cards. Like, I mean, look at all these death bots just ready to kind of. Those bots like, how dare you take off the stuff with Daily Duel? So, we're going to come at you with a vengeance. You know, playing them. Uh, Deathbot 5, Deathbot 6, of course, and Pendulum 7, which is totally fine, like I said. I like Deathbot 5, don't like Deathbot 6, I'll go into more detail uh, when, it, when I do the death profile, but I'm really wondering if he, if that's actually some back row, or is it literally just um, some uh, Royal Decree. I would not be surprised if it's just a Royal Decree. You know, Deathbots aren't really prone to be uh, playing a lot of back row, so. Yeah. There's that Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter, very powerful. So banish a couple of uh, cards in the deck. And I guess get more set up. Kind of seems seems like it's kind of sad that with extreme. I see that uh that clip slide. I'm like, oh shit! Like, are we gonna see some dark matter dragon replays? Like, no, dragon replays are, are, are still banned. Deservingly so. Like, as long as dark matter is legal, dragon replays can't be legal. The plays are just too strong. And uh, I think the opponent gets the pick, or Tiago gets the pick. I think the opponent gets the pick, right? Your opponent banishes three monsters from the deck, guys. And then, uh, then uh, maybe are we seeing some Galaxy Eyes Chaos Dragon play? You know, like I said, it just sucks that uh, Taylor had to go ahead and use uh, a Soul Charge because the attacks they would they would seriously get in. I don't know how you're gonna handle Deathbot Four though. Deathbot Four is too strong, but uh, if you kill these two, oh, ooh, uh, okay, oh, yep. So just the classic loopy plays of Redem plus uh, uh, Light Pulsar. Like, uh, uh, Chaos Dragon, uh, uh, Galaxy Eyes deck, I guess. All right, that's fine. Do your play. Like I said, Tiago, I don't question Tiago. Tiago knows uh, Galaxy Eyes like the back of his hand, so <laughs> there's no questioning the plays of Tiago. And so it's like I said, Death Spots aren't a great tag deck, you know, because 
four it's kind of like during your opponent's turn i mean really what's four doing oh my god tago's just blazing through through his deck just sending more dragons and looping more dragons and doing more dragons and dragons and dragons and dragons and dragons, and dragons. like holy crap so uh hey i'm not complaining do your thing tag i would like to get a turn though <laughs> you know the dust black guy going off and with their plays it seems like tago's like all right i'll go off my play i'm assuming that you're running more than one death one them cloggy uh upper seventh and eighth i'm not the, still not the biggest fan of them all uh, right, so what are we going to talk about? What are we going to talk about today? I, I mean, I would usually generally talk about my plays or talk to my tag partner, but I can't really do that. Uh, I saw the leak. I saw the leak of the OCG uh, Bamas. Uh, I'll do a video about it when, you know, there's actually a definitive list and I'll go ahead and give my opinions. But I guess since we're here, I can go ahead and give my two cents. Right, clearly, it's the freaking uh, hat trick, uh, four mage, uh, freaking... Uh, Minerva deck, yep, there she is. Freaking expensive as hell, Minerva deck. Like, oh my god, Minerva, uh, just Minerva herself is just too expensive. I saw um, a JD, a Damage Juggler, oh, we're gonna be talking about you, and then uh, of course Felice. So, we're gonna be talking about you. So, uh, Banlish RCG for 2016 is coming out soon, and with that, they, they're not, they didn't give us the full list, they just kind of hinted at some cards, and they hinted at what cards are being banned. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get my pins about them. So, starting off, Shockmaster. Duh! <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, we banned Shockmaster a long time ago. We banned Shockmaster back in 2013, and it took them all the way until 2016 to ban that shit. Like, no, 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 no. Like, I get it. Like, you're like, all right, let's go ahead and ban Patola uh, uh, Myos, and then we don't even have to worry about uh, even seeing a possibility of Infinity in that deck anymore. You know, Infinity out of that. But uh, no, 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 because then you lost Shockmaster, and like I said, with these decks being able to pump out these level 4s, then rank 4 Shockmaster is literally just being like, yeah, I, I can be stupid, I can be stupid, so no thank you, I'm not the biggest fan of that, something that's going up here, oh, my Pulsar, that's cool. So, <laughs> yeah, I can go ahead and revive that powerful full armor, yep, so full armor, and then it just, when this card exceeds summon, or when it's special summon, once per turn, I can attach it to the from this card and target one uh, face up card, but I don't have any extreme materials. I mean, he's a 4,000 beater, so yeah, why not? <laughs> really, why not? You know, the more 4,000 beaters, the, the better. So I need to do some plays. I need I need to do some major plays right now. Use Cloud Effect in the graveyard. Like, what's Cloud Effect in the graveyard? This card's a graveyard. You can target one of Galaxy XC monster you control. Attach this card from your XC material. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I could do that. Yeah, sure. Why not? Because I'm not going to kill this because I can probably big eye and take this. So I'm going to go ahead and attach you with some material and use you. And no tag is going to be like, hold on, 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 what are you doing? But I'm going to kill the Minerva. And I want the Minerva dead, but I don't want to go off during the damage step. I can take this, but I want to go ahead and clear up the Minerva so I can go off on my plays and not worry. So I know Tiago's gonna be like, what? Why'd you do that? Like, no, 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 I got this. I can handle him. Okay, good. So there's nothing built that could fuck me up. Well, damage juggler, of course. So. Alright, now I can go ahead and do my plays. So I'm not too worried about the back row. I mean, I might just go ahead and pitch just to make sure. So if you have another magician, you, this card, you can discard a pendulum monster and target one spell or trap and, and pop it. Alright, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and play you. And you're gonna go ahead and give me my lower skills and do all them plays like that. Alright, so I kind of like him because. Uh, being able to go into Mr. Uh, him is pretty cool. Like, uh, Odd Eyes Rebellion, that seems pretty cool. Like, as I said, I think I'm just, I'm just gonna simply uh, big eye him. So, I'll go ahead and pitch you, uh, pop that, even though I think it's Royal Decree. Like, I want that out of the way. I think it's Royal Decree. No, it's just MST. Alright, so, go ahead and activate Insight, Insight, pop, and we'll go ahead and get Peasant. Now, Peasant, what's your effect? You can add one face up uh, from my extra deck to my hand. Oh, but it has to be summoned to add from my graveyard to my hand. So, let's go ahead and get inside back, because why not? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm literally just clicking buttons right now, for right now. I will get used to the deck soon enough. So, we'll summon Odd Eyes. And you, I said, you seem like you'll be really good to pull the shit out of my graveyard, because there'll, there'll probably be a lot of shit in my graveyard soon. Go ahead and uh, make a big eye so Tiago can rest easy. Cause Tiago, I bet Tiago's freaking the fuck out because I didn't kill his uh, his uh, his dragon. He's uh, like, what? Why do you like Dark Rebellion? Like, <laughs> like, nah, I want it. <laughs> I definitely want it. So get fucking destroyed by the power. Like, 
kill your little death bots, track you all directly, like get destroyed. <laughs> Yeah, I just think it's kind of boring if all you do is just kind of pendulum summon and have magicians just sit odd eyes fusions. I want to have a little bit more than you know. He just says GG, like, you know, you still have a turn left. Like, it's not over. Not over. Okay, just in case you're train, I have the odd eyes fusion, but uh, I wanted to do more. And rank 7 place and just seemed like they'd be fun. Yeah. Alright, oh, he has death spot 3, so he'll go ahead and, what, special summon death spot 4 and pack over one of us? And then special summon from the graveyard, some death spots. Yeah, no, death spot two. Oh, he still has his pendulum scales. Yeah, he still has his pendulum scales. Surprised he didn't MST earlier in the duel. I'm really surprised about that. Like, as soon as I set up my pendulum scales, you can just MST. I guess you assumed that I would have more, though. Yep, death spot four. Uh, duel's not over yet, but there's still plays to be done, so. Pendulum summon death spot four, and then death spot four will go ahead and summon. Uh, do you have, like, death spot five in the graveyard and stuff? Oh, Shemp. Machine assembly line, like, okay. Yep. Give Death Spot 5 the boost, but then we don't take any damage, so I guess you just want to tax up over something. I'm not sure how many Death Smart monsters you still have in your deck remaining. Okay, go kill the, the Redum. You're just gonna tack over us blatantly. Oh, you're not gonna use your effect to send, so. Yeah, that works. Yep, summon them back, get them searches, get them pluses, like ridiculous deck slots. Like I said, I'll probably miss that deck, but it's cool. Normal summons already conducted, Pendulum summons already conducted, so we don't have to worry too much. And then you gotta give the attack to him, and then he's gonna get even beefier. Like, oh my god, look at this. Yep. So, you know, the biggest problem with your plan is that we still have, you know, the light pulsar. Ah, oh, that sucks, though. It sucks. He just freaking went off again. <laughs> just like, oh, summon three, three, get two, three, three. Like, I would never open up this well when I play Death Bots. Like, I would never get the Pendulum Scales. Or, or I would dead draw the Pendulum Scales. Like, hey. <laughs> came back from one card and came back with a full fucking arsenal of Death Bots. So, the two threes, threes is gonna clearly fuck us up. So, Jeff has a full hand and can proceed to attack and do on the play, so. Kind of wondering what Tiago's gonna do. Only 20, 20 cards left in Tiago's deck. But I don't think my plays were bad. I didn't know that was an MST. If I know that was an MST, I would have cracked the scales. Uh, yeah. Oh, Tiago's gonna go ahead and pendulum summon. Yep. Trying to summon that Galaxy Soldier. Oh, here we go, people. <laughs> Tiago taking advantage of the pendulum scales to try to summon the Galaxy Soldier without even taking the neg. So that's, that's just great. <laughs> If I could summon him more often, like, I should probably run more Pheasant. I'm only running two, and I was like, ah, I mean, he's not really soon, but, you know, when he's normal summon or special summon, I can target one of my odd eyes, um, my Pendulum monster or odd eyes in my graveyard and back, bring it back to my hand. Yeah, that's good. So, you, Pheasant. I, I, now I get why they run multiple Pheasants. It makes sense now. I, I get it now. <laughs> Alright, looks like Tiago is losing. <laughs> looks like Tiago's like, you know what, screw this. Yep. No going to infinity. Let's go. So if you're gonna go ahead and transfer, you can do it now, but if you, I mean, you're gonna get screwed either way, because we'll just take whoever you're transferring to. So. so I'll go back and put the deck, and over this month or so, I'll go ahead and gradually uh, do some fun odd eyes plays like that. I think that, uh, just destruction is actually pretty good. If you can bust out a whole bunch of sevens, you can make it, you can bust out three sevens, you got them, you know. You got them, so he's gonna go ahead and transfer his attack over to someone else, like, alright, before he gets eaten. Then you might as well let that go and, and eat them because if you negate them, then you'll kill them and you won't eat them. <laughs> I learned that the hard way plenty of times messing up like that. Uh, so, you know, with Odd Eyes being 7 and him being 7 and uh, Destruction or what did they, they change his name to? Yang Xiang or something like that? Yang, Yang Ki? Yeah, Shang, Shang K or whatever his name is. Uh, you know, 7. You can easily Pendulum Summon 3. Uh, and also uh, Apex Avion too. I'm running Apex Avion because, of course, this is uh, Pendulum Magicians. They gotta run that Apex Avion. It's just so good. You can just Pendulum summon a whole bunch. So uh, the actually the little uh, unicorn actually helps with the consistency of having your upper scale just in case Dragon Pit uh, isn't there. So the question is, are you gonna kill me? I'd say you're gonna you're gonna get and kill him. <laughs> yep. 
to negate and kill him. Still trying to figure out how this is all gonna go down. Yep. It does he ha I know he has more than enough death spots to handle this situation. It just sucks that Infinity only has has home so many negates. Because there's just so many things that you want to negate and handle. <sighs> you can only pendulum summon death spots, right? Yeah, so. Pendulum scale doesn't even matter for this guy. I would not be surprised if he is just the damage juggler and all that. It's a good place, just so good. So yeah, Shockmaster should have been banned a long time ago. Like, I'm actually surprised that OCG left Shockmaster alone that long. I guess they were so busy trying to deal with Infinity and they banned Ptolemyus so that they're just like, ah, Shockmaster, eh, who cares? Like, no. So definitely Shockmaster worthy of being banned, and I'm glad that they wisened up to, uh, 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 him. I'm glad they banned Shockmaster at this point. That's smart. Uh, next, Damage Juggler. Damage Juggler, I can understand that. If you want to go ahead and hit the Perform Mage thing, Damage Juggler is the enabler, you know? Uh, you know, Trick Clown's pretty good, damage, uh, and, uh, and Hat Tricker's fine too, but it, it's, 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 hat, it's Damage Juggler. He's the enabler. Not only is he being able to, uh, block them damage plays and, you know, block them wavering eyes, uh, block from the direct damage, which is just great, but then being able to go ahead and just vanish to, you know, get that search on as well, like we can just clear yourself. It's just, you know, great ass plays from, from, uh, from Damage Juggler. I didn't think they were going to go to the extremes of banning it, but, you know, it's, de it's definitely the one that you should point your fingers at when it comes to those three. When it comes to those three. When it comes to Damage Juggler, Hat Tricker, and Trick Clown, it's Damage Juggler. The Damage Juggler is the enabler. Alright, well, it's obvious that there is going to be some uh, Utopia Lightning action going on here. That's a given. You know, Utopia Lightning kills uh, Infinity. <laughs> we know that. We know that to be true. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yep. And I thought that maybe uh, Tezo is going to stop the the um, the uh, Goblin Book because yeah you know, they got to use their normal summon. But I guess maybe uh, Tezo is worried about Hat Tricker or something like that. So I have plays. I do. I do have plays. Just you know, really, what I want to do. What do I want to do? So if you have an interest in add one bit uh, from your extra deck, okay, it's my extra deck. Uh, I believe like I have a Castell or something, but I'm just wondering if I could actually wrap this duel. I have Castell. So obviously we're going to be attacking. You only have one extra material, so I don't have to worry about you. So literally I just had to summon something to wrap up this duel. So I think this might be game. I want to say it's game. And so it'll just be like, you know, you attack you, you attack you, you attack you, and then you just attack a record from game. So I think that I think this is game. You definitely with the, with all the XC plays that I, I was discussing about doing, what does this do? Oh, okay, blah, 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 blah. you can send this hard during your just like inspect some of the machine type monsters from your graveyard whose level is equal to less than the number of junk counters, whatever. Yeah. All right. Just in case, just in case you have, uh, just in case you have Honest, because that would be a major thorn in our, th in our, in our side if you have Honest. So, then everybody, then I would say I would, be, would not be surprised if there's a Damage Juggler. I would say Damage Juggler is the enabler of this deck. Definitely the enabler of this deck. So go ahead and attack and do it. Damage Juggler? Nope. All right. Awesome. All right. We'll go ahead and get one more duel in. So bear back. Alright, back again. So, like I said, I don't think I fucked up too terribly, but I, I don't think my plays were fantastic. So, uh, I, I, can, I can literally just go into, uh, into, uh, Rebellion right now. Because I can just set you up as the scale. Well, no, I need to draw one more card, but see, there's lots of, there's plenty of eights, there's lower scale, three. Uh, we have some sevens, so I can go ahead and play you, then play, you know, I can play you as my eight, and then Pendulum summon you, so, like I said, there's some, actually, some major plays. Uh, so. Uh, I think I just think that uh, Auto Unicorn adds a lot more to the XC plays of the deck, much, much more to the uh, consistency of the upper scales. And, and, uh, don't count on Auto Unicorn. Everybody's like, "Oh, look, it's so weak!" Like, no, this card's actually really good. Auto Unicorn put in that work. <laughs> look at that! Look at that face. This is the face of the devil himself now. <laughs> So Tyra is like Tyra's just gonna take it slow, not even gonna take the risk. We have 16,000 life points to set the road to cream pass. You know, uh, this person has a 60 card deck. Like, okay. <laughs> uh, hopefully the road to cream stays. We're gonna flip it up, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, do some major plays. 
more setting more background like all right no if anything i can just go into absolute and stop my attack and summon my uh odd eyes so yep there's that row decree four back row <laughs> all just stopped unless there's book of moon or something back there wow dark bride Motherfucking Dark Bride, let's say. We better not be doing against that fucking deck that we do it against, uh, against on, uh, uh, what do I want to say? On Daily Duels yesterday with the fucking stally shit. Like, oh my god, fucking disgusting. So, I wish I could go ahead and make you, but I don't have my Tuner Monster. I don't have my, uh, what's her name? So, what do you do? You switch summon from your hand or graveyard to Odd Eyes Monster by stopping the attack. This card still makes sense to the graveyard. You switch summon one Odd Eyes Monster from your extra deck, except for what's his name. Okay, that's cool. So I think I'll go ahead and play you. Yeah, and play you pitch pitch Odd Eyes because I can summon back from the graveyard with Absolute. So that's good. Uh, I had to have another magician, which I don't. <laughs> oh yeah, I do. I do. Let's say I'll fuck. I fucked up. Like not in and our destruction. I'll go ahead and activate, pitch the odd eyes, try to clear some of, some of this back row, even though I seriously doubt we'll be able to. Alright, we'll go ahead and come doing some of you two. You, and you. Okay, I, I, I have a feeling that shit's gonna hit the fan real quick. So, some of you. And even if you, like I say, even if you mirror forces, I'll still have a major play, so. I'll go ahead and attack, then I'll go ahead and stop my own attack. And summon back. Uh, guess I guess? Okay, uh, let's say, are you confusing me? There you go, let me do that. You can go ahead and get the attack in. If he has a mirror force, I'm still gonna be able to do this and go back to my extra deck. Oh, well, 97. Sure, I think for destroying my shit. I guess I'll go ahead and, uh, Summon Vortex Dragon, like, or I could summon this. So I saw someone who could target one Tundra Monster Special Summon, can attack the rest of turn, and summon. Your opponents cannot activate monster effects during the battle phase. Like I said, I have a pretty good feeling that this will be another flippy monster. No, I don't want your effect. And I'll just go ahead and kill this, and you can't activate monster effects during the battle phase, so. Wow, sand, sand force. All right, all right. Didn't see that coming. I can't even flip my monsters up. That's annoying. Like, sand force isn't good. It's just annoying. <laughs> just annoying. There's a ton of back row. I wish that royal decree one went off because there's a back row and just annoying ass monsters so far. Just literally just dully annoying shit. <laughs> Dark bribe. I really don't want this duel to last too long. This video is already 20 something minutes, so. So, what does Unicorn do? I think I like gain life points. Spendum effect's not too bad. This card's not something that says, I mean, you can target. Wow! Wow, he is gonna go all in with the Denklaw. Yep. 8,000 life points gone. So, Denklaw plus back row. That's. Mm, that's gonna be annoying. You target one perform up monster in your graveyard and game on Yep. So, here comes the dank. Here comes the dank people. So can you kill both of them though? That's the problem. Can you kill both of them? Because all we have to do is just flip up and attack over you, so hopefully you have something to protect the Denkla. I I cannot stand Denkla. I think Denkla is stupid and broken, so. Everyone has plays, cards in the out the ass is just Denkla. <laughs> I think that's going to stop the majority of uh, Tiago's plays right now. Oh, looks like Tiago's going to go in. Pendulum Summon, yep. Go ahead and Pendulum Summon that uh, Light Pulsar. And Bottomless, yep, more back row. I said, really wish that Royal Decree would have went off right now. I would have loved that. Wow, you didn't even want to like flip up the, the Odd Eyes and attack over the freaking Dark Law, Tiago? Like, what was Tiago? What was that? Like, I don't even care if it gets hit with back row. It's better than leaving it alone and just allowing it to kill freaking uh, Odd Eyes. Like, wow. Like, why didn't... Oh, because we can't flip up. Because we can't flip up. We absolutely can't. That sucks. It sucks that Tiago has put... can't do shit right now. It's back row out the ass. Back row out the ass. Like, why Dark Bride? Why? Why? Out of all cards. Wow, more back row. Bottomless. Radiant Mirror Force. Mirror Force. Like... It really seems like that's the guy who's using like a stally ass fucking back. Like, holy shit. 
row. Heroes with back row and back row with back row. Like, I heard you like back row. Oh my god. Oh, there goes all my plays. I'm like pretty much out of this duel right now. Like, all I have is my fucking unicorn. It's so great. <laughs> that girl has cards up the ass. Like, I went in and I got punished for it. Like, oh my god. If that row decree would have went off, we'd been fine. Said it's just too much background tag duel sometimes. It's just like hell yeah, lover of the creep, a double mirror, a double bottom. It's like yay. All right, uh, so I can go ahead and uh, uh, pendulum summon. Although I'm gonna get fucking destroyed, destroyed by fucking what's its face. Well. Like I said, I, I have nothing. I have nothing. So I can go ahead and destroy himself, and then I can destroy this, because I already have this. Like I said, am I going to get wrecked by more back row? I'll go ahead and get Skull Crow back Joker and another Unicorn. Yeah, I have no place. I have no, absolutely no place. Yep, here comes Darkwalk. Pendulum summon this turn, so I've got to take it slow. Yep. So all that back row and all the monsters, like, we're just gonna get wrecked. Ah. Uh, <sighs> guess I'll get an odd eyes. It affects only once per turn, so you can't even take the odd eyes away from me. So that's good. I'll try to kill the dark law. I mean the Shadow Mist, I'd really prefer to kill the Shadow Mist, but probably more back row. Like this duel is going to be dominated by back row. Yeah, Alright, uh, Seize Fire Burn, I mean, I guess. I, I really don't care about the Seize Fire Burn. So I'm not out of the duel, but I'm still not in it either. <laughs> I said if anything, I could just go ahead and Pendulum Summon. If Tiago has nothing, I have Pendulum Summon the Odd Eyes and attack over the Dark Law. I had to kill the Shadow Mist, because I don't want to deal with two Dark Laws. Like, no, thank you. Wow, Monster Gate. So. Should be the card trooper and someone in let's say some another shadow mist. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> uh, <laughs> looks like it looks like their back row is dwindling though, so that's not that's not terrible. Well, there goes my skull crab at Joker. Uh, I I don't think my wizard play was terrible, because at least I got something to tackle in the dark law. Uh, it's just a question of is this piece of back row something to stop me from attacking over the dark law? If it is then. Fuck. <laughs> and hopefully Tygo can get in this. Like, Tygo really hasn't done much all duel. Tygo, you have seven cards in hand, please, man. <laughs> I'm getting de destroyed. Like, I have the devil himself, fucking unicorn, right here. Soul Charge, so I guess you have a play and you're not gonna attack over freaking uh, Dark Law, or maybe you're gonna use my two monsters to key and big eye. That would, that would be pretty good. That'd be pretty good if that's your, if that's your play, Tygo. I would not mind that. No, all right, just summoning monsters to wall up. Like, damn, Tiago either opened up like booty or like, what's up, Tiago? And this guy, of course, from the back row. It seems like he's really using some stally burn shit. We've seen a a, a butt ton of mirror forces, a butt ton of back row, some ceasefire. Like, there, there, this guy, he's trying to be a butt, the butt. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! And perfectly fucking dark armed. Like, fuck us. Just fuck us right now. Just fuck us in the ass right now like wow 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 perfect dark on huh and the top deck was that a top deck sure felt like it sure felt like it just draw a dark on here we go like all right yep so there goes all our fucking shit that's disgusting i i feel sick to my stomach got bottomless fucking Fucking monster gate, just oh my god. Of course, fucking number generator. Oh my god. Fucking number generator. Thanks. Thanks, number generator. Get fucking wrecked. Get fucking destroyed. Uh, Tango opens up like ass and they open up the tit, the tit, and fucking stop us. That all we need to do is get that Royal Decree off, but no, Dark Bride. Like, who the fuck brought the Dark Bride? They do, and it was perfect. Without Dark Bride, we would have had it, but we got stopped in every play, every single play. 
Oh well. There we go, and the dark arm fucking wrapped it up. <laughs> That's hilarious. Get draw into the dark arm, which is a number generator, and then have the perfect amount to drop it and win the duel with it. Like, and we had to deal with a, a solemn card. Like, this is either notice or warning, so we would have lost anyway. Even if we did survive a turn, we would still have lost. Oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Like I said, uh, it wasn't Unicorn's fault. It was Dark Lost's fault. It was Backrest's fault. Couldn't do shit. Tiago opened up like ass. <laughs> Draw through three galaxy eyes. Like awesome. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So, of course, uh, more deck profiles and more decks to be added on uh, <laughs> as the week goes by. And of course, this deck will be uh, here for the next uh, month or so. You know, the back half of December and the beginning half of January until. Uh, we do the lineup again. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Thank you, Tiger, for joining me. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. The deck pro profile of Cosmos and uh, what's what's Wednesdays? I haven't got the schedule set. I I want to say DDDs. I want to say DDDs. And I think Power Rangers is Friday, or it's either Power Rangers or Wednesday and DD on Friday. One of the two. So one of the two decks. You'll find out. Anyway, people, thanks for watching. Alright, uh, I got so distracted in duels that I didn't even finish talking about what I was going to talk about. My bad, people. Uh, that's that's the problem with the Endo commentary. I get so distracted with duels sometimes that I forget what I was talking about. But let me go ahead and wrap it up. So, Shockmaster Band, great. Uh, damage Juggler, like I said, it, it was the enabler of the three. You know, Trick Clown's great. They're all three of them are great. Trick Clown's great, Hat Tricker's great, and, uh, and, uh, wait, no, Trick Clown's great, uh, Hat Tricker's great, but. <laughs> a damage juggler, not only being able to block the damage from wavering eyes and battle damage, but being able to banish the search, it is the searcher. Right? That's enough to be able to point the finger at which three of them. I, I mean, banning it? That's a wow. Like, well, wow, you banned it. <laughs> that's pretty extreme, but, you know, that's the one that, along with, uh, 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 with Trick Clown, where it's like, hey, you mill it? That's great, because you're going to go ahead and, you know, banish and get the search on, so. Yeah, so I can see that. And of course, Plush Fire. The card is just broken. Like, it's it's literally a broken game mechanic where it's like, yeah, it's in the Pendulum scale, you pop it, you get an additional search. So, you know, just, and, and like I said, it's enabling, it's the searcher. So you took out both the searchers. You still have your hat trickers, you still have your, uh, your, your, your trick clown, but you don't got that search anymore. So I definitely think, in my opinion, if those are your three bands and those are your only three bands. Mwah! Beautiful OCG Konami. Good job, good job. Take out that PP Kaka Poopoo deck. That's a great way to do it. I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm just pretty smart. Pretty smart. Uh, it's interesting that uh, Arabne is not doing as much uh, anymore. That it just seems like it's too much inconsistent. Like I said, I think that I thought maybe they were going to go after maybe Luster and Wavering Eyes since they're kind of the enablers of Plush Fire and stuff like that. But instead of that, you could just take out Plush Fire. You know? If you take out Plush Fire, then, then there's not really the the need for uh, Wavering Eyes and uh, Lush Fire. Their, their use goes down. They're not as much of an enabler should them play the plush fire is banned so that's pretty good and with them not playing a rodine or the counter trap fairy to search anymore i mean you know we could possibly see something different and talk to people prove that and they don't even have a uh, norden norden's also banned so you know telemata's banned shockmaster banned norden banned uh, uh damage juggler banned and freaking uh plush fire banned like Maybe we'll see a little bit of a shift, you know, maybe a little bit more Burning Abyss or Monarchs or something like that to uh, compete with the meta and uh, not just, you know, tier zero, pee pee cock -poo -poo deck, you can't do shit, you know, you get play or you lose, so. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I had to go ahead and wrap that up, I, I, I ended the video and I was like, sitting here editing it, I was like, wait a minute, I haven't finished talking. So, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and yeah, tell me what you guys think about uh, the three bands on the OCG list so far. Alright people, thanks for watching.